And thank you so much for watching this video. We're so excited that a new spiritual center is rising front and center on the campus of Westminster Canterbury, Richmond. It will stand as a testament to our founding and our roots in faith that continue to shape our course. This tour took place in late June 2020, and of course, each day there's even more progress. We anticipate the Spiritual Center opening in September 2020, though when services will start is yet to be determined. This new sacred space will welcome many, nourishing our spiritual lives through celebration, contemplation, learning, mourning, and worshiping together. We believe that spiritual wellness is the core of all wellness, perhaps even more important as we age. So come along on this tour. We look forward to showing you Westminster Canterbury Richmond Spiritual Center in person and sharing special times there together. I'm standing in front of our new spiritual center that is going up behind me. Also behind me is a place where residents and staff and construction workers join on Mondays at noon for prayer. We pray for our workers who are working so hard on this project. We pray for Westminster Canterbury and for the spiritual life that we have here. And we pray for what is going to happen inside this building. We're at the point now where we're starting to really be able to envision what's happening inside the building. And with pastoral care programming, needing new and versatile space, larger space. Our dreams are becoming reality as we think about all the worship and the education and the fellowship that we'll have in this new space. We're excited about the chancel furniture that is being made, the communion table, the pulpit, the baptismal font, where we can have worship in a beautiful space. And we also affirm the foundation of our residents here who have been behind this project through an outside clergy council that comes and consults with the pastoral care team to help us think about programming. And so we thank everyone for their support and we hope that you'll join us in excitement for when those doors open and we can go in and begin to celebrate what God has done through our spiritual center. The Carrie Montague Chapel, the current chapel, was built in 1975 and that's when the only building here was the tower. And also at that time, there were only like 365 residents. So through the years, we've had several expansions and, and more residents with each expansion. We don't always like change. And sometimes the older we get, the more difficult change is to make. At least that's what a lot of people will say. Oh, I don't like change or we're changing that. Many of us, perhaps all of us, really value certain things. And I look at it like a two-handed thing. So the things that we value that are old and dear to us, we want to hold on to those, and they're precious to us. But we have to be open to the new. And I think the good news is every resident and every employee of Westminster Canterbury already has the capacity to make that change, holding on what is dear and valuable to them, but with the other hand, being open to the new and to what's changing. The thing that is, is the value added from a spiritual standpoint is uh, that it's in giving rather than receiving that gets the focus. and. Um, how can I make this place better for other people? How can I make the community stronger? Uh, looking at it that way, as opposed to, you know, is the community serving me well? I mean, you ask that question, I mean, obviously we all have needs and we need support from this community, but it, as you lean in, um, that's what makes the difference. And that's, uh, from my perspective, that's spiritually inspired. It's what the mission of the church is about and uh, uh, where we want to be as we, as we go forward in this new chapter. I love lecturing and I like the whole notion that uh, you can inform and inspire people uh, through their programs. But the programs are varied. I mean, you have films, you have plays, uh, you have worship, you have meditation, uh, you have uh, lectures. I mean, there's such a variety. So there's education, 
uh, spiritual enrichment and, and you know, time to just identify yourself as something larger than you are. So my hope is that that space can be um, utilized in a way that allows people to draw together closer and in new formats, such as looking at each other rather than looking at backs of heads, uh, with versatility for different kinds of programs, with the option of having uh, a space that can conform to different needs and be embellished with different traditions. I think Westminster Canterbury, by the fact that the first building they're going to put up is the chapel just speaks volumes and in this world we live in today it seems to me it's making a promise to each one of the residents that your inner interior life needs to be strong. I think that I will enjoy the new spiritual enrichment center because it will be versatile and it will offer an opportunity to provide services that we haven't had in the smaller chapel. Coming in from the main entrance near Jessica's office, and this becomes the new area, tying us into the, the new sanctuary and, and Jacqueline room. That's exciting. So the green room is right over here. That's correct. That's let's where we're expansion. Let's wait. go. So let's come on. And then this is the Jacqueline room, which also looks out into the Memorial Garden. So that'll be a nice backdrop. And then this gives you an idea, a view to the outside, to the Memorial Garden. We still have two fountains to install and all the landscaping to do. And we're working on that with the uh, roof system. It's gonna be a restful, beautiful yeah. space. Yes, it will be. So the chancel is going to be, uh, is being erected right now. They got all the wires roughed in underneath. Over to the right is where they're gonna be putting the organ and to the left they'll have the piano beautiful lights. That's the lighting that we're starting to test out and put in place. And if you look at the ceiling where the square lights are, we just received the insulation panels and we'll go do a video of that here shortly. I'll show you what that looks like. And right back here is the chapel. So in the chapel, this is where we're going to relocate the stained glass windows in these six panels right here is where the, the, the glass is going to be installed. Beautiful. And we'll be gorgeous. That's right, and we'll bring the crossover from over there and put it on this wall right here. And then the other thing you'll notice, Gail, is they're starting to install the hearing aid loop. That's where the red tape is. And this red tape is what's underneath the carpet, and you're able to lay the carpet on it, and you won't feel the bumps. So you'll notice this is a handicap ramp, Gail, that goes all the way down to the handicap parking right here. So that's how they can get to it from, from the parking lot. They can come up real easily this way. It really is right in the center and the front of our campus, just the way we wanted it for our mission. That's right. And we can have visitors conveniently park right here and come right into the front entrance. We just received our skylight, which was similar to the main entrance that we had at the, at the tower entrance. The other thing I'd like to show you, Gail, was we have the new sound panels. And if you come real close, Eric, you can see the, the, the perforated holes. That's what absorbs the sound. The other thing I wanted you to notice was we have a couple of pulpits that we had fabricated. This is one of them. And here's the main pulpit right here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Here's a couple of tables they set up. The main table here. And then we even have a baptismal font. So how exciting. Tom has just taken me on a tour of the Spiritual Center and it's just coming along so fabulous. And really all I can think about is having all of you join us and be able to be in here. You know, during the COVID-19 pandemic, I think it's become even more clear and obvious how much we need each other how actually sacred it is to gather, and how important our faith is to our lives, how it sustains us, how God sustains us through all the difficult and wonderful times of our lives. So it'll be wonderful when we can gather in small groups or large groups to worship, to learn, to share, to grow together. I can't wait. 
And the foundation, Westminster Canterbury Foundation, made a commitment when this started that we would help to raise the funds to build this building from the ground up. We are trying to raise $4 million and already $2.6 million have been raised by very, very generous donors and we appreciate that so much. We can't wait to honor every single donor with a specially made piece of art that will list every single generous person's name. So now, I just want to ask you, would you please prayerfully consider a gift to Westminster Canterbury's new spiritual center? Together, let's put our mission first. Let's keep growing from our roots in faith so that together we can gather, we can praise, and we can learn to love each other even more. Thank you so much for your consideration. Please feel free to call me at any time. I'd love to have Tom bring you through a tour and I would join you. Give me a call, email me. I'd love to talk to you, it'd be my great honor. Thank you so much.